Hello, this is Elaine from Elaine's Creations, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this debossed card using your dies from the Blossoms in Bloom bundle from Stampin' Up. So here's the card, and debossed means that the embossing goes in or down instead of up. And this is the bundle, Blossoms in Bloom. The stamp set has these flowers and sayings, and there are two sets of dies, um, this thin line one and then this larger one that you can layer, and flowers that you can layer, hence the many layered blossoms name. So I'm going to use this die right here to create my embossing folder. So I'm going to put all this aside and grab the die. I have also... Um, used a 5 by 7 adhesive magnet sheet. I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to grab my new Stampin' Up! die cutting and embossing machine. And I've got the um, number one plate, uh, number two plate, and the cutting plate number three. And I'm going to put the magnetic sheet right here and the die facing down, as well as my number three, the other cutting plate right here as well. So I'm going to um, coax it through a little bit as I start winding, and then I'm gonna put my hand up here as I run it through. I'm just gonna kinda take this easy. It's a little bit thick, and I don't have it, I've got it on paper, so it doesn't have anything to grip onto. To hold it in place. Urgh. My kitty's having fun over here with me. So I'm gonna grab this and set this down. Excuse me, kitty cat. Thank ya. Okay. All right. So I have also got this uh, half sheet of cardstock here. And I'm just going to pull this whole thing off magnet sheet here this whole thing right here hi kitty can you see my kitty there she is she's sniffing the magnet sheet oh this is pepper I'm just gonna throw the rest away of that and I'm going to try to carefully remove this whole thing without um, getting any pieces um, off or detached from each other. It's a little bit tricky. So if you have a pokey tool or got this uh, tweezers that has a pokey end, kind of try to pull this away. A little bit tricky. See that piece came off. No. And I try to coax it off. It's a delicate process. Just be patient. Don't rush it. If pieces come off, it's fine. We can we'll put them back in. Okay, there we go. Now it's coming off. Alright. So now we got that piece off, we are just going to gently place it, not really stick it, just gently place it on our sheet there. And I'm gonna try to grab that one because it's, I don't want it to be underneath. So I'm just gonna grab it. Okay. So I'm just gonna pat that down and I'm going to put this back in place. And uh, the inside pieces, I'm going to go ahead and kind of stick down. Those are going to stay on this sheet. And then the outline piece, I'm going to try to pull up and remove. So I'm just going to kind of peel that away. Um, use my tweezers or your take your pick tool to hold down the inner P 
pieces. And you're just going to carefully go about doing that for the whole die piece. Um, and it'll take a little bit, but um, you're gonna be using this embossing folder a lot. So it's worth it to take the time to do this. And um, just take your time because this is delicate. It might tear and you don't want it to tear. So again, take your time. And if you want to, and you uh, want it to be really nice, you can try to keep these little pieces. So you can really try to stick these down. I didn't, I found it a little bit um, too difficult for me. I'm a little bit on the lazy side. Maybe with this one, I'll be more um, patient and careful. Maybe not. <laughs> we shall see. Um, so you just keep um, holding things down and peeling the outline up. Let's see here. Push that down. There we go. So you're going to get um, two. You're going to get an uh, outside, an outline, and an inside piece that you can use to emboss and deboss. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, work on this later because I already have some done to show you. So I've got the inside piece and the outside piece here. And as you can tell, I've been using inks to um, color them. So for example, on this outline, I've used Misty Moonlight to color this. And this is what I got. This is the debossed side. So the um, it goes in, creates an impression that goes in and then this is the embossed side so it comes out and I can feel um, it come out um, so you've created your own um, embossing not folder but um, embossing plate I guess you could call it and you can do this like I said with any die so um, get more use out of your dies and create these embossing plates so for example, um, you could use the Celebrate Flowers. So here's a piece that I used um, with the su uh, sunflower die from Celebrate um, Sunflowers Bundle. So here's the debossed side. You can see that it goes in. And here's the embossed side. You can see that it comes out. Um, so um, another thing that you can do with the embossed side is you can rub um, ink on there. So you can see that I've rubbed some ink on there. But we're going to be working with the outline side. So um, for this card. And um, as you can tell, we're going to be um, adding some ink to this. So there's a couple ways you can add ink. Um, you can use the ink spots because they're nice and small. You could use uh, sponge daubers. I used sponge daubers on um, the card that I did for my Facebook Live. It came out pretty light. It, it looks nice, but I kind of like this uh, darker look. So I'm going to actually go back to the spots and use the spots because I like the darker look. So I'm going to just uh, start rubbing some ink on here. I'm gonna try my best to keep it on the flower part only and not the leaves. And I can go back and uh, just but uh, you could do multicolored flowers like you could do um, especially with the sponge daubers, you could do blue in the middle, like sponge daub blue in the middle, and then a darker blue on the, uh, or darker blue in the middle and a lighter blue on the outside, or vice versa. I think uh, the darker in the middle would look nice. Got some ink on me. Let's see if I can get that in there more. It's hard, I'm not left-handed. Okay. Maybe I'll turn it 
that will help me. Okay, so I get an ink on here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I got all the blue ink on. So I need to, uh, one thing that people do is they put, like they punch a little circle or butterfly and put it on the bottom because it's hard to tell like what color that is. So um, that's something that I'm gonna be doing with my spots, cause I can't like, can you tell between these two? Oh no! Oh well. Um, can you tell between these two, like what colors those two are? Don't they look like really similar? Yeah. So that's why you might want to label your ink spots. Just punch out a color, punch out of cardstock the color and slap it on the back so you know what's what so there's a leaf and here's a leaf and we'll rotate get this leaf should have gotten in there and then leaves over here. All right. So now, put this aside again. We're going to bring back in this die cutting machine. And since it's only one layer, it's not an embossing folder. Um, if it were an embossing folder, I would remove uh, one of these layers. I would remove layer two, but it's not. It's only one layer, so I'm going to treat it like a die. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to grab my white sheet of paper. I'm going to lay it down, try and center it, and I'm going to try to not move it. Not move it. I'm going to try to put this down without moving the white sheet, just straight down. Then uh, guide it in again and roll it through. This machine is so smooth. I love it. Okay, put that down. Okay, just lift this straight up. Woo! Cool. I did get a little bit of ink over there. So, um, it is good to be careful about not smudging your ink everywhere, but I'm messy and I smudge my ink everywhere. And I do see some ink here, so um, just be aware that you might get some ink on your um, cutting, cutting pad. So you might wanna have a wipe ready to wipe that off. Um, but that's kind of a cool little pattern there swirls I did with the ink spots. Um, for the smudges, something you can do is you can get a sand eraser and just kind of um, erase them off. The smudges are pretty much on the surface of the paper. So you might be able to just erase those off. Eraser is a good thing to, to have. See, that looks better. But isn't that cool to get a debossed image with your ink on it? Very cool. So um, the centers look a little bit uh, lonely and blank. So I'm going to stamp um, some Daffodil Delight centers. centers in all of them. So 
let's just do a partial in that one. Okay. And then we'll layer this. I'm gonna bring that over there. Um, on some garden green. squeeze it on here or I might have to trim it really tight order that I squeezed it on okay so I'm going to let's see I did it this way right yes I'm gonna add some ribbon some misty moonlight ribbon that coordinates I love how we have ribbon in all of our in colors. And I'm going to wrap it around and just add some adhesive on the back. That way I can just add a bow on the front and that'll just make it easier. And I like to always add dimensionals to this layer to pop it up onto the card base, the Misty Moonlight card base. For bows, I do two bunny ears and tie a knot. Turn that side too. And then I'm gonna do the sentiment, thinking of you in misty moonlight. Let's see, I have my piece of Whisper White here, and I'm gonna use the Fancy Label Punch to just punch out a label to stamp on. We could all use a Thinking of You card especially right now. And then I'm gonna use a little bit thinner, one, two, three, one, two, three, piece on the top and the bottom so I have room for my uh, ribbon to be on and unhindered by any dimensionals. Right here on the bottom. And then a glue dot, I reveal one at a time. And just stick the ribbon on there, peel it up, and put the glue dot about there. And we've got our lovely debossed card using the Blossoms in Bloom bundle. So I am offering a card class on this bundle. It in consists of these two cards and these two cards as well as two of these cards. So if you purchase the bundle, which is this again, you'll get these cards this card kit for free. You just go to my website, eliancreations.net, and use this August hostess code and I will send you this card kit for free. Um, if you already have this bundle or you want a different bundle, you can place a $50 order using the August hostess code 
and just send me an email, elaine at elainescreations.net, letting me know that you would like the Blossoms in Bloom card class, and I will send it out to you as well, along with a $5 bonus coupon code that I received last month in the July special. I'm giving away my coupon codes for every $50 order that is placed, and they are good until the end of October. So take advantage of that. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.